So, how much is it to go racing then? Uh, we talk in 50k. So, what if you're on a budget? Maybe 25? Well, how about if you really are on the budget, you could do it for about 6. So, I'm going to tell you how I got into racing uh, in my way. So, even though the title of this video says budget, well, budget is relative. There's a big caveat, and you all know this. Motorsport, by anybody's estimation, is not cheap. But, it needn't be as expensive as you might think. Be prepared for some negative attitudes towards racing on the cheap. Uh, sometimes the intention from other people uh, is good. They don't want to see you cut corners on safety um, and then be in an accident and get hurt. Let's face it, if you were on your way to an accident and you could stop time and you could get out the car, provided you had to get back in the car, but then you could buy whatever safety kit you liked before you got back in, if you had to have that accident, you'd probably buy the most expensive kit you could afford or possibly not afford. But, you know what I mean? Um, you've got you've to gotta bear that in mind. Some people will say that, well, if you can't afford to crash it, then you should be, shouldn't be doing it in the first place. Well, yeah, my kind of point to them is, well, could you afford to crash it every single session? Probably not. My first uh, race weekend in qualifying, um, I got T-boned, and that was two grand of damage. That put me out for another couple of years, but hey ho. Hello darkness, my old friend, I've come to talk... So, the reason for the, this video is chatting with the Club Racing UK guys at Autosport. We were chewing the fat on how racing, yes it is expensive, but it's not as expensive as you might think. And it's a bit of a shame, because it could be accessible to far more people than they realise. Uh, the perception can be a little bit nuts. People just don't know, so we thought maybe a bit of education would be uh, a good idea. After this video, maybe check out Club Racing UK on Facebook and YouTube and all that good stuff. I'll put a link in all that madness as well. My particular story is I took a longer route, so it probably cost more overall, but I could spread the cost over time. First thing I had to do, and it's you're not going to get away from it, you need a license. Uh, all things considered, even though I did my license 10 years ago and prices have gone up, you're looking at about £500. Pounds. Um, there's the Go Racing Pack, there's the arts test itself. You've got to get a medical as well, so you have to give money to your GP. When I said earlier about taking the long route uh, to spread the cost over time, and that's because I went the build my own car route. So I bought a car off eBay for £800, off the road, and then set about turning it into a race car. To be quite honest, cost-wise, you're far better off buying pre-built. You can buy race cars for about 4k at the budget club racing level. But I didn't have 4k, so uh, I barely had £800, but still. Um, but at least it gave me a hobby because it took me a while to get it respect. It taught me a lot about the car. Um, I know it inside out. If you buy something off the road, convert it yourself, uh, I mean, that's a big undertaking, and however long you think it'll take, double or treble it, um, you know. But I learned a hell of a lot. Like I said, it became a hobby, and I could drip feed money into it over time. Uh, it took a couple of years, but I got them. I mean, a breakdown in costs. Um, I said before, pre-built, the budget end, you're looking at 4k maybe? With my car, I didn't exactly save every penny where I could, but I didn't exactly throw money at it either. I probably went, you know, in the middle. And looking at the costs, before my first race, I'd sunk about, including the car, about six grand into it. So, uh, yeah, like I said, um, if you've got the money, uh, buy pre-built, it, it is more cost effective. So you get your car, um, your kit, right, again this is another board of contention, but um, you're looking at about £1,100-ish. Yeah, helmet and balaclava are going to be about 400 
your suit about 250, gloves 50, shoes 100, underwear 100, hands device 200. People argue about these costs, oh that's too cheap or that's too expensive. It's about what I spent. Um, well, it would be if I bought it now, because uh, I bought my stuff a few years ago. So, um, let's assume you've found a club then. You might have paid their membership fees. Some clubs you don't have to. Uh, you might just pay a higher rate uh, for your race fees. But race fees can start from about 350 quid for a qualifying and, and a race or two. So, let's have a look at it then. Bare minimum, from a standing start to finishing your first race. Let's have a look. Licence, £500. Kit, a grand. Race weekend fees, hotel and fuel, £500. Car, 4k. Again, I'm being really, really budget here, but all told, what's that? Six grand. Now, there are other caveats, like you should add budget for testing, you should add budget for seat time, you should probably add budget for a lot of things, but yeah, um, bare, bare minimum, yeah, that's how you could do it for about 6k. It's not exactly, you know, spare change at the end of the month, but hopefully, if you were thinking, race is very expensive, upwards of 10 grand, it doesn't. Like, it really doesn't. I hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching.